Real or fake? It's an age-old Christmas debate, but which is actually better for the environment? When we look at the, the starting life cycle of, of a fake versus a real tree, if we look at a fake tree during that same part of its life, generally these start as uh, petroleum-based plastics and on a, on a metal skeleton. Um, and those, as you can imagine, have their own ecological considerations. Now, unlike a fake Christmas tree, which already has a large carbon footprint just to be produced, a real Christmas tree doesn't have one. In fact, it has a negative carbon footprint when it's born. That's because it's taking in carbon dioxide and releasing the oxygen that you and I breathe. But a tree in the end is being cut down. So how can that help the environment? Uh, when it comes to, to coming out here in the National Forest, uh, you'll notice a lot of those permits will ask you to cut in areas that are higher density. What we're seeing now is an area that is, has too many trees when it comes to fire risk, when it comes to the actual health of the trees, and when it comes to resilient forests. Here's the scoop. Real trees can have a longer green life if recycled or composted after use, while a fake tree only wins if you use it for more than 20 years. Whether you choose a real or fake, make sure you take the steps to get the most green life out of your tree.